What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. And today, I'm giving you guys the three tenets of growing and maintaining a short beard. All right, when it comes to short beards, you really got to know the golden rule of beards, first and foremost, and that is your neckline. See, probably the biggest mistake that all guys are making is they're taking their neckline too high with the short beard. And what you wanna do is essentially go about one finger length above your Adam's apple, or you can do an L. Everything below this, you shave. Everything above it, you keep. Another golden tenant is gonna be helping the beard grow quickly. And that's basically taking biotin. Biotin is a vitamin you can add to your diet or a supplement you can add to your diet that's essentially gonna make your hair and fingernails grow faster if you have any deficiency of that vitamin in your diet. It's not something that's necessary, but it's a good boost to have to help you keep that beard growing. Now the second section why I wanna talk about is beard care. And I see so many guys who will grow their beard out for a week, two weeks, and then they just shave it completely. The reality is you can actually maintain your beard. You can care for it. You can keep it at that length and keep it healthy. The first thing you need to think about investing in is either a beard oil or a utility balm. See, products like the beard brand beard oil are specifically designed not just for your beard, but also the skin behind the beard, so your face. And what you want to do is really simple. Get your oil. You probably only need two or three drops. Rub it together in your hand. And then just work it into the beard. Now, as you can tell, I've got a pretty short beard. And this stuff is going into my skin as much as the beard. It's going to give a nice sheen. It's going to smell fantastic. And it's going to help soften up the hairs because with a shorter beard, you're typically going to have an itchier beard. And that's because every time you cut the hair, it leaves little spears. And those spears will grow back into like the creases and the folds. And that's what's causing the itch in your beard. So oil is going to help soften that up. Now, when it comes to products, not all products are created equal. The market has been flooded with tons of brands. Everyone's trying to make a quick buck on beard care. And the reality is some of them are just silicones with a little bit of fragrance in it. And those are not designed for your face. They're not designed for your beard. Beard Brand's been making beard oils, beard care products, and men grooming products since 2013. We're one of the leaders in this space. And we actually help create the industry that never existed before. Now the third golden rule or the third tenet of taking care of a short beard is the details. And the details are super important with a short beard because let's say with a big large beard, a lot of the attention is going to be drawn to one particular place. Whereas with a short beard, because it doesn't have that same girth and length, the eye can tend to wander. So what you want to make sure you're doing with a short beard is take care of these eager hairs. Like they'll grow out and guys, girls and guys will see this and they'll see it coming. And what you do is you can just grab a little trimmer. It doesn't take long and you don't have to do this every day, but every once in a while, come along, get the outside of the ear, get the inside of the ear, work it out. Make sure that you're keeping this stuff tidy. Make sure you're taking care of any kind of unibrow you got going on. And then your nose hairs too. Like with a shorter beard, your nose hairs are more likely to be popping out. So just bring them out, keep them short. You can use scissors, you can use a trimmer, but you wanna make sure you're covering all those places. Now another detail that a lot of guys with short beards totally neglect is you have tons of options with the style aspect of your short beard. You'll see right here, I'm rocking what's called the beard stash. And the beard stash means a bigger mustache tied in with a shorter full beard, essentially. And there's a couple of other variations similar to the beard stash. And there's something I call the hybrid beard. So another alternative would be the scruffy goat. Now the scruffy goat is gonna be essentially 
a big mustache, a big chin area, and then this side, your cheeks are going to be shorter. And then the third iteration, which I'd recommend for a short beard, is going to be your scruff burns. <laughs> and essentially it's the same thing. You'll have bigger sideburns, but your mustache and your chin are going to be more of this stubble length. Now the other thing is, even if you want to keep just a normal full beard that's short, you can still play around with a couple different options. What a lot of guys will like to do is just put their three guard on or their four guard on and then they just do the whole thing. But what I would challenge you to do is to step up your beard game. Go for a longer length down here, like your four guard, your three guard, and then pair it up to, you know, a two here and then, you know, a one here or two to four or three to one kind of that taper, the same thing that you're doing with your head hair, you want to do it in a reverse direction for your beard. And that's going to add a lot of dimension into your beard that you're not going to get by just having the same length across the board. In addition to that, a lot of times you'll have more density in the mustache. If you want an equal looking beard, then you may actually need to take the mustache down a grade level. So if your beard's at, let's say a three clip, and take the mustache to a two clip to keep that uniformity. And I wanted to wrap this up with a special section. See, a lot of guys grow their beards out. They think the bigger the beard, the more masculine it is. But the reality is the moment that this hair pops out of your face, you're rocking some kind of facial hair, whether it be a scruff, five o'clock shadow. And if it's there intentionally, then it's a beard or it's facial hair. And don't let um, these internet keyboard warriors come in here telling you that you don't have a real beard unless it's X length long because that's a load of crap. The other thing is for the guys out there who are currently rocking a longer, bigger beard, you a lot of times are pressured into just keeping that beard and not experimenting with your style and not really having the confidence to go short if that's something that you want to try. And I want to tell you guys only you spend 100% of your time with yourself. So the guy that's looking back at you in the mirror every morning has to be a guy that likes the look. So never feel any kind of shame or trepidation into trying a new look if that's something internally you wanna do. There's always gonna be haters. There's gonna be people who want you to have a completely shaved face and there's going to be people that want you to have a big full gnarly beard ultimately you just got to do what you want to do so all my short beard brothers out there thanks for watching cheers and keep on growing beard brand is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard but also your hair and body do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.